Zoo. Hey, Kids Club. Today's big idea is we can celebrate Jesus. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Turn up the music. Feliz Navidad. Buena tarde. Mele Kaleki Maka. Also, Merry Christmas, Kids Club. Oh, there's so many different ways that we can say Merry Christmas. There's also a lot of ways that we can celebrate Christmas. And today, we're celebrating. But what are we celebrating? That's a great question. We're celebrating the birth of the greatest person ever, Jesus. Jesus Christ is the rescuer of the entire world. And Christmas is the day that we get to celebrate Jesus' arrival. You know what? <laughs> Let's just get this party started with a video about Jesus. God's story, Jesus is born. So part of God's story is about how he sent his son, Jesus, to be born. And it goes like this. Remember when God created a perfect garden? He also created a perfect family, Adam and Eve, to live in the garden with him forever. All they had to do was trust God. Then they would live with him forever in a perfect world where nothing bad happened, ever. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve stopped trusting God, so they disobeyed him. That's when all the wrong things in the world began. The worst part was they were separated from God because God is perfect and can't be around anything wrong. But God came up with a plan to rescue us from all the wrong things in the world. That way, he could be close to us again. For hundreds of years, God planned this rescue. He built a special family for the rescuer to be born into. He told prophets how to recognize the rescuer when he came. Prophets hear from God and then share it. God's family was so excited. And finally, it was time. God was ready to send his very own son, Jesus, to be with us on earth. Of course, he could have sent Jesus as a warrior or a superhero, but he didn't. He sent him the same way we all get here, as a baby. Now, that might not sound strange at first, but to a young woman named Mary, it was a huge surprise. God actually sent an angel to tell her that she was going to have a baby named Jesus. Mary was terrified, but she said, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Basically, Mary wanted what God wanted. Anyway, the news about Mary's baby also came as a big surprise to a man named Joseph. Mary was going to be his wife, and now she was going to have a baby. But Joseph wasn't the father. So an angel came to him in a dream. He said, Don't be afraid to take Mary home to be your wife. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. After hearing that, Joseph obeyed. A bit later, the king told people to go to their hometown to be counted. That was something that happened every once in a while. Joseph was from a little town called Bethlehem, so that's where he and Mary went. When they got there, Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay. With nowhere else to go, they spent the night in a place where animals were kept. And that very night, Jesus was born. Mary laid him in a manger, which is where animals eat. Here was the king of heaven, the perfect rescuer, born with animals and sleeping in a dirty feeding dish because nobody would make room for him. Kids, have you ever felt like nobody wanted you around? Well, that quiet, lonely moment was the moment God's whole family had been waiting for. So God did something special. He sent angels to some shepherds who were taking care of their sheep nearby. The angel said, Today, your Savior is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds went to find Jesus right away. They told others the news. The rescuer is here, and he is sleeping in a manger. Everybody who heard their story was amazed. This is what they had been waiting for. It just happened in a way that wasn't expected. Even though people had stopped trusting God, he loved them and us. He wants to be with us so much that he sent his very own son to earth to live as a man. In fact, one of the names God called Jesus was Emmanuel, which means God with us. Through this tiny baby, God was close to his people again. And that's the story of when Jesus was born. But here's a quick version of what happened after Jesus was born. 
A star appeared in the sky. Magi followed it and worshipped Jesus. Jesus grew up. He never did anything wrong. He showed us what it looks like to follow God and love like God. Then he took the punishment for everything we've done wrong. Now we can all be close to God again. And that's a part of God's story. Wow, what a great video. Jesus is born. And because of that, we are all saved. Saved from what, you may ask? Well, we're saved from the punishment of our sins. Now, when we make wrong choices or go against what God wants for us, that's called sin. And luckily, God loves us so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to earth to save us for the punishment of our sins. <laughs> Cha cha cha! Now there's a party sound, and that means it's time to celebrate. <laughs> so let's check in with our good friend May for the Christmas song of the day. When we have a birthday, we celebrate. When we get amazing news, we celebrate. When we win or have a victory, we celebrate. There's so many ways that we can celebrate. Maybe we can throw a party, or maybe we go and eat our favorite food, or maybe you go watch your favorite movie. When we celebrate, we feel joy, and it should be a good time. Jesus was born because he had a mission. That mission was to save the entire world when we celebrate Christmas, we're celebrating Jesus' birthday, we're celebrating good news, and we're celebrating his victory over sin. Christmas is one of the biggest celebrations of the year, and it should be. So let's take a quick look at the story of Christmas, but let's add a little bit of flavor with some cool beatboxing. The Christmas Story from the Bible. A surprise is the kind of a thing you remember, and that's what we do every single December. We celebrate Christmas when Jesus was born, the surprise more surprising than any before. It wasn't that no one knew God would be sending a rescuer. The narrative had been pending for thousands of years. They knew he'd appear, but unknown was the when and the how and the year. See, in the beginning, God had created the world, which was good, but he thought his greatest idea had been people. Oh, he loved them so. He gave them the world he had made for a home, but God told them one they could never break. There existed a tree that they just must not take any fruit from, not one piece, not one single bite. But a devious serpent said that was a lie. He convinced God's creation they could do what they want. They didn't need rules, he said nonchalant. So they tasted the fruit and they instantly knew that it wasn't a thing that had been good to do. But God couldn't let that be the end of the story, even though we all know that they should have been sorry. He crafted a plan to redeem his creation. His plan was a person, a family, a nation. There's Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob's whole crew, Judah and Tamar and Boaz and Ruth, Obed and Jesse, David and Solomon. Finally, one baby named Mary. Following, oh yes, that Mary, a girl of great import, for without her part in the story, we'd be short a mother, someone who could have the new babe. Enter the angel, let's call him Gabe. So Gabe told young Mary, you're having a son. Please call him Jesus, because he is the one who saved the whole world. This was God's rescue plan to reverse the worst curse. Remember that? The first man and the woman, the garden, the lascivious snake, who told him that God's love was not real but fake. Of course, that was a lie. God's love is more real than the things that we know or the feels that we feel. Hmm. So 
Mary was in, she believed, good to go, but she was engaged to a guy we'll call Joe. He had reason to fear when the angel said not to, but opposite that, he obeyed like you ought to. So now that you know where this rescuer's from, let's talk about how the guy got here, God's son. It wasn't with trumpets, no shouts, no parades, not a single kazoo. Of course, they hadn't been made. Anyway, the King Caesar said, let's take account. A big cent is of everyone. Find the amount. We can tax from them all for the glory of Rome. So Joseph and Mary returned to their home. Joe was from Bethlehem. Oh, that little town. Yeah, that one. So they made a trip, looked around for a place they could stay, get married for some peace. But that night wasn't silent, not in the least. On this night had come God's great big surprise. A baby was born. Yes, a baby who cries, who spits up and gets up all hours of the night. A newborn born to make everything right. But God did tell some of the birth of his son. They weren't popular nor special someones, just some shepherds watching over their flock when an angel appeared and they started to gawk. And the angel said, you've got no reason to fear. In fact, you should celebrate Jesus is here. He's been born in a stable, a manger in fact. So get going, get moving, it's time to react. A stable, they may have thought, that can't be right. A savior would not spend his very first night in a manger, the place where the animals eat. That's not quite a place where a king ought to be, but indeed there he was. Just like God had said, a king but no castle or comfortable bed, just a baby, a small tender child who was born, who like no one else ever would save the whole world. Now some magi out east had seen a bright star and decided to follow no matter how far. So they came and they saw and they knelt and they gave frankincense, myrrh, and gold to the heavenly babe. As we get to the end of our story, let's pause. And remember, the glorious part of this all was that God saved his people, the ones that he loves, with the greatest surprise that ever there was. It was small, at least at first glance, just a baby, but pay close attention, and maybe, just maybe, you'll see what God plans, that astonishing rescue, to ransom his people, and that includes you. Hey, you're back. Man, I've heard that story so many times, but never like that. Oh, I've got to really practice my beatboxing. Wicka, 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 wicka. <laughs> I've had a great time celebrating with you today, Kids Club. I hope you're amped up and ready to celebrate that Jesus was born. It doesn't matter how or where you celebrate, just remember, we can celebrate Jesus. I'll see you soon, Kids Club, and Merry Christmas. Everybody conga!